Hey, 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 New Hope Church. Pastor Jim coming at you with our new Soul Care series that we are starting today. And we are so excited to bring this to you. As you can see, I got a buddy on my left and this is Irma Mast and she is going to be sharing with us as we start talking about health. But before we get to that, make sure you hit the like button and leave us a comment because we love to get comments. All right. Well, Irma, would you please briefly talk about your health journey and why this topic is so important to you? Absolutely. So this is a topic that I could talk about all day. It's important to me because I went through it like over 10 years of having significant health issues myself. Um, some of the diagnoses were like fibromyalgia, I had chronic fatigue syndrome, um, autoimmune disorders, I had Lyme's disease, adrenal failure, I had nervous breakdowns, I had heart issues. And so I know how long, it can be a long journey, it can be a hard journey sometimes, especially if there's chronic issues. Um, but something I recognize in talking with people is that almost everyone I speak with has some sort of health concern that they like to see improved. Mm. Um, something. Something big, something little, something chronic, something non-chronic, some kind of diagnose. So having come out of that myself now, I'm on the other side. I'm healthy, doing very well. Um, I just love walking with others. Um, I have over 14 years of um, research. I've been doing a lot of research for years and years. And so I enjoy educating others what I learn and what I, what I find helpful. Cool, cool. Um, now you begin your health focus by recognizing not so much on like what people eat and all that, but it's more on recognizing a person's identity in Christ. Um, why do you start there when we're talking about physical health? Yeah, so when it comes to our identity, it's a question that each of us asks ourselves at some point in life. Mm. Who am I? We know we have a mom, have our dad, but our understanding of this question is often the result of what we have been told by our parents, our teachers, friends, um, family, whoever. Mm. So words that people speak over us often tend to define our, self, our understanding of mm. ourselves. And so when it comes to our bodies or our health, it's easy to identify ourselves as how we might look or the symptoms we might have or diagnose we have, like I'm, I'm sick, I'm weak was one of mine that I struggled with. A lot of people, I'm fat, I'm not able, I have so-and-so diagnosed, so therefore mm. that's who I am. Mm. But we see when we accept Christ, we are adopted as his, as his kids, as his child, yeah. Yeah. and he's our perfect father. Mm. So technically we're also his. So we need to look at who he says we are. Good. It's like, like we're not our diagnose, we're not our symptom, that's just a symptom. Mm -hmm. We don't see in scripture that we are sick. Mm -hmm. we, we don't see in scripture um, we see that our bodies are gifts mm -hmm. that God gave to us. Also, that it, our bodies are temples that God gave to us to He lives in us. Mm -hmm. This is the temple of, of Him. Mm -hmm. And that He lives in us while we are on this earth. And so we don't recognize who we are and how much God values us. Mm -hmm. How are we going to decide how we take care of the temple that He lives in? That's good. How are we going to, like, how will we know how valuable our body is? If we don't know how I, who am I, how valuable am how valuable am I, mm -hmm. and so how do we know how to take care of me if I don't know what Scripture says who I am? Yeah, that's good. That's good. It sounds like you see like a very significant crossover between being spiritually healthy and being physically healthy. Mm -hmm. So say a little bit about that. How how spiritual health leads to physical health. Yeah, so we know God created us for relationships and he broke down the walls when we went on the cross. He broke down the walls for us to have a healthy relationship with him. Um, our faith or our spiritual health often encourages us or discourages us to have a connect to our inner self, like at mm. a deeper level or mm. less deep level, depending on our where our relationship is at. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a healthy relationship with God and with others we will be looking to other things for mm. like comfort or to fill yeah, that space. 
and that usually isn't chicken or broccoli, right? Right on. We right reach on. for ice cream or whatever. I, I know I like ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, we reach for things that feel good, where it's all about our feelings. Mm -hmm. um, we do things that, this sounds good, this looks good. This Instead of making a decision as if we have a purpose and that we care about this is what God gave us, how am I going to take care of it? Mm. And things go downhill. We go from feelings to emotions and all of that. And so, um, and when we feel well, it's much easier to be kind, loving. When we look at the fruits of the spirit, it's so much easier to act kind and be gentle and respectful when we, we feel well. Yeah. We feel our mind is there. We're not crumbling together. We're not um, just struggling. Yeah. It, it's just, it's, um, yeah. So yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. So what are one or two scripture passages that stand out to you when, uh, when you are thinking about this topic of this crossover between spiritual health and, um, and physical health? Mm -hmm. So there's, there's a few, a few scriptures, um, in first Corinthians six, Verse 19 and 20, it says, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You are bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Mm. And it's specifically talking about sexual immorality in that, in that verse. Yeah. Um, but I think it could really apply in this way, too, because it's still about taking care of our body. Mm -hmm. It's still about... Mm -hmm. And then in Proverbs, he, he said, a crushed, a cheerful heart is a good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Mm. And it's like, if we don't have a healthy relationship with God and our spirit is, if we're not feeling well, our spirit is going to be down yep. and evidently it dries up the bones. Like it affects us. That's mm -hmm. in Proverbs 17, um, verse 22. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, is there perhaps one or two action steps that uh, everybody who is listening to, uh, to to what we're talking about here that they could do this week that might help them begin uh, this health journey that um, that if they've never really done that before? What's a couple action steps that they could do? Mm -hmm. So there's a few things. Um, one of them that I thought of that was look up two scriptures that explain who the Bible, who God says you are, mm -hmm. because we really need to grasp onto that yep. is who God says we are. We need to, like we talked about in this weekend, yesterday's sermon, like capture mm -hmm. those bad thoughts and yep. we need to fill it with good thoughts. We need yep. to know who am I? Yep. And then um, the second thing is just decide and write down who you want to become this year in regards to your health. And, um, you know, this is something we practice. We keep speaking over ourselves. Like it's a new identity. It's who we want to be. Yeah. And it's not based on who I feel I am. Mm. And you can, if you if there are negative things coming in, um, write those negative things down. And whatever isn't true, tear it up, burn it up, throw it out. Yeah. And then um, just some examples I came up with was like, I'm a person that takes care of and protects what God makes and gives me mm. and this could come to finances kids whatever it is but in specifically like my body god gave me this yep and i'm a person that takes care of what god makes and what god gives me mm. and so that's an identity statement we don't want to be good. like i'm a person that eats chicken every day or a lot of broccoli that's an how to get to your identity we're looking mm. at who am i because mm. what do healthy people do we're going to get to that in the next videos but we're just looking at, like, I'm a person of love who loves Irma because God made me. It's, I'm a person who loves myself and the person that God made me to be. Just some, some identity statements yeah. um, of, like, who am I going to be? And then the next few weeks, we're going to look at kind of how do I, what does a healthy person do? Yeah. Come with some steps, how to become that person. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I hope that this is helpful to you. Um, and so we'll look forward in the coming weeks to hear more from Irma and how she works out this, this whole th uh, thought process of identity, of our spiritual health, and then how that fits into our physical health. 
uh, just a quick reminder, uh, gentlemen, if you uh, if you do not have a small group that you are part of, we would love to have you join the Forge Group. They're starting a new series this week, six o'clock on Thursday nights and Saturday mornings. Uh, I believe at eight o'clock down at Jesse Wardell's garage in Holmesville. Thursday night is here at the church, so we'd love to have you guys joining that. If you have questions on that, get a hold of us here at the church, and we can tell you more about that. So everybody have a great rest of your week, and we shall see you all very soon.